In lecture nine, we're going to cover organizational change models. After watching these videos, you should be able to describe some of the ways that managers can overcome resistance to change, compare the four main approaches to managing change in organizations, and demonstrate three ways of creating a culture for change. Every person, group, and organization experiences change of some kind. Broadly speaking, change involves making things different. Managers at every level of an organization then have an opportunity to, to lead change and make the process more effective and more efficient. But change management is a complex process with a lot of moving parts. Many changes won't succeed. Employee resistance, which we'll learn about soon, is just one of the factors that can derail the change process. To increase the likelihood that changes stick and are sustained, managers should follow a few evidence-based principles of change management. Some changes are accidental and unplanned. They just happen. Other changes are intentional, with goals for planning, implementation, and evaluation. We call this planned change. The first goal of planned change is to improve the ability of the organization to adapt to changes in its environment. It's triggered by external forces. Two, planned change tries to change people's behavior. The people who plan changes, who act as the leaders of change are called change agents. They have a vision. They can see what the organization could become if the change is implemented. And they share that vision with other people. They get them on board. They seek their input, consider multiple options, and implement the change. Anyone in the organization can be a change agent, but people who are new to the organization tend to be the instigators of change. This is one of the benefits of recruiting from outside the organization, a fresh pair of eyes. Change agents are skilled motivators. They motivate other people to help them make the change. 